life is a gamble and there are no sure shots if you want something desperately you will have to trust your heart and then take a leap of faith i am manali born in the city of dreams mumbai where people come trusting the instincts and wait for the magic of beginnings it is this city and my parents who made me believe in the magic of faith my father originally from assam had moved to mumbai to pursue his career where he also met his lady love going against all odds right from eloping to do an intercaste court marriage to later shifting back to bahati just for the love of their parents they had taken the plunge in the pursuit of happiness i grew up in bahati and have a younger brother who was a quiet one and i used to bully him so much so so that he started believing that he is actually purchased at rupees 50 from a child care center in gangtok fast forwarding to my teenage soon after completing my 12th grade i blindly followed my father's footsteps and decided to pursue chartered accountancy and later than excited i moved to mumbai and started my bcom degree college and my internship with deloitte while auditing one of my clients jet airways i had let the revelation of a very undermined revenue leakage point which not only brought me appreciation but also taught me a very important life value deliver more than expected and wait for life to surprise you in its own little ways and i have always strived to follow this mantra at the same time there was unfolding another chapter of my life whoever has coined the term absence makes a heart grow fonder did not know that it actually makes a heart grow lot more crazy up and this applied aptly on me while i was in my 12th grade my now husband nitesh had proposed to me and i said let's be just friends so he moved to kolkata to pursue his ca and i went to mumbai after that with every call with him i started falling for him all more and more and soon we were in a long distance relationship from unplanned visits to each other's cities to meeting secretly during a short vacations back home every meeting left us in the pain of parting which was nothing in comparison to the joy of meeting again and in 2014 our marriage marked the strength of our relationship with life moving normally the year 2017 started with a surprise call and taking a long step we moved to dubai life was picture perfect from work to parties from brunches to shopping and in 2018 to add the cherry on my pie we had taken the first step to embrace parenthood from making hot chapatis for me to buying me a cup full of ice cream at 2 in the morning to even supporting me in my decision to work until the day of my delivery nitesh had made my delivery my pregnancy the most cherished phase of my life and in december 2018 the prince of my heart rudra was born and i i started falling in love with life all over again it had also given me a breather from my fast moving life and made me realize that i was good at my work but not passionate about it normally after work a person might binge watch some series or rest but i would experiment with food or read about food it thrills me how a simple dish can be so volatile and how just one ingredient can reinvent the whole dish i loved the adrenaline rush and with nitesh's ever increasing fascination to do something of his own we knew that only entrepreneurship could satisfy our quest and therefore we made the biggest decision of our life taking a leap of faith 
we just moved back to Guwahati. All I wanted is, at 40 years of age, when I look back, there should be no room for regret. And do you know what is the secret of becoming an entrepreneur? It's getting started. So here I am, taking my first step towards the unknown, knowing that this roller coaster ride will lead me to my happiness. Also, being an entrepreneur makes you an influencer and nailing it well needs you to have the ability to speak, listen, and interpret effectively. And here's the place where Toastmasters comes to play and is the very reason for my joining Toastmasters Club. So here I am waiting to, in, to, make, a, to make wonderful memories with my fellow Toastmasters. Thank you.